Hi, I'm Gary, Whiskey for Echo Echo Yankee, and you're back here in my uh, ham shack. About three months ago, I did a video comparing the weak signal intelligibility um, testing of uh, two radios, my Flex 6600 and an ICOM IC7760, which was a new radio to me. And at that time, I'll put a link uh, in the description box to that video, I said that the ICOM was slightly better in weak signal intelligibility. Well, over the, the past three months, uh, a bunch of things have happened. Flex has upgraded their software. Their latest version of Smart SDR is 3.9.18, uh, which I have installed in both my Maestro and my radio. Uh, so uh, the radio is updated with, with software. ICOM is up to version 1.13 uh, in their radio software. And so I've upgraded uh, that radio accordingly as well. So I thought what I'd uh, like to do is a, a rematch uh, and let's see. In my initial uh, listening, I think the flex is much better than it was. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we can hear. Uh, we're gonna try to keep things uh, about the same uh, as we had before. We're using my uh, Northeast Receive Beverage. It's a compact uh, beverage, about 130 feet long, uh, pointed to the Northeast. But I I'm just looking for weak signals. It doesn't matter. Um, and, and the antenna is being uh, sent to both radios through an ELAD high-frequency multi-coupler. So theoretically, they should be getting exactly the same signal. And I've set up the radios as best I can to be exactly the same uh, with a bandwidth of 2.4 kilohertz uh, audio with a low end at 300 hertz and a high end at 2700 hertz. Uh, I was uh, commented on uh, in, the, in the past video that maybe I didn't know how to set up my flex radio. That could be true. <laughs> but I have uh, discovered that by dynamically uh, when you're receiving, tweaking the AGCT control, you might be able to get just a little bit better. Before I was leaving it static in position, I had listened to noise, turned it down so that the noise just reduced and left it there. Uh, but we may uh, try some uh, dynamic uh, peaking or some dynamic adjustments here to see. So let's go ahead and get started. We're listening on 14300. I think it's the intercon net. Um, and let's uh, see what we can hear. Here is the flex. Here's the icon. Back to the flex. I come. Six degrees, Drizzly, and head for Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Over. Okay, is this Alan? Is that correct? Oh, uh, that's the flag, over. Okay, Alan, are you headed to Pennsylvania? Is that correct? Over. Well, you're 10 over at sight in the Kentucky this morning. Over. The ICOM. It's interesting, the ICOM is hearing the uh, mobile better. I'm on the receive antenna for sure. Oh, that was good on the flex. Propagation. Victor 
This is the flex. I'm going to tweak the AGCT. Back to the ICOM. Signal came up. Okay, I must have stopped there. No number zero, Charlie Tango, Victor Tango. USL, my apologies there. You came way back up. No number zero, Charlie and Mike Tango. How's everything going for you today? You came back, Adam. I, I was thought I was hearing a zero station trying to check in. So was that you? I was trying to get hold of over. I can't hear him on either radio. Well, you faded out a little on me now, but it's nothing to do with your mobile. It's just conditions. But I got you good, loud, and clear, and I got the logbook. Are you, uh, where are you mobile at, Old? Uh, let me get the antenna around and see if it'll help anymore, because uh, I'm sure it will. For some reason, it sounded like coming in from the northeast. That's where I was pointed at, but I usually don't hear me. So the last time we did this, to me, there was a distinct difference between the ICOM and the Flex. Uh, and um, I postulated at the time that um, it could be changed in software because I'd experienced the same thing uh, back in version 2 software on my Flex 6500 when they came out with a new version of software and receive intelligibility improved uh, dramatically. I think that has happened again. I would rate them even. I, you know, this is my opinion. Um, but I think with the latest version of Flex software, 3.9, I think the Flex has, uh, has you know, come back into the game and um, is even with the 7760. So watch for, I've got one more video planned. I have my uh, friend uh, Bruce's uh, KB4 uh, FHA's 8600M, the new 8000 series Flex radio. It's uh, out in the workshop. Uh, I'm going to substitute uh, it for my 6600 in an upcoming video, probably tomorrow or the day after. So stay tuned. We're going to do it one more time uh, with the 8600. But for the moment, I think uh, good on you, Flex. I think you've come through. Anyway, thanks for watching. 73.